So talking again about the wood cover. You know, a lot of times I'm gonna cast on the outside of that wood cover because you can see this is really thick stuff. I'm gonna let it fall on slack line. I'm gonna fish the outside. I'm gonna pick up and I'm just gonna work it a little bit. I'm not gonna work it all the way back to the boat. I'm gonna kinda drag it and move it three or four times to get the feel of where the bait is and then I'm gonna wind it back in. I'm gonna go for another presentation. The reason for that is most of your, most of your bites are gonna occur when the bait is on the fall. So again, I've just made another quick presentation, made it on slack line. Now I'm gonna start picking up on my lure, just kind of feeling it, kind of dragging it on the bottom. Make sure it's down on the bottom, drag it once more, and I'm gonna pick it up and start, start another technique. So although I'm fishing slow, I'm covering, I can cover water fairly fast. Um, again, because of the uh, way that that presentation works, and you can see how well that bait skips. So you can see just how that Ned Rig will skip into that brush. That's with that Hayabusa brush easy. So I'm, you know, again, letting it fall on slack line, letting it kind of soak a little bit inside that cover, and then just kind of dragging it out, you know, just a little ways. After I drag it, maybe two, three times again at max, I'm gonna wind it back in and go for another presentation. Again, most of that, most of your, your activity is gonna happen when the bait is falling. And, and that first drag or two when you first lift up. So let's assume that this, this bank right now is loaded with fish. <laughs> They're everywhere in here, we saw them. No, I'm just kidding, we haven't seen one. But, but let's assume that it is loaded with fish and that's why we're fishing this particular bank. Once I throw it in and let it fall on slack line, the first thing you wanna do is wind down to the fish. Wind down so that there is no slack in your line. Wind down so that you're steady on the fish and again, you wanna pull into the fish. I like to pull it sideways. I don't like to lift up a whole lot unless I know that there's a piece of cover I've gotta get that fish away from. That's the only time I'll really lift up on it. I kinda of wanna pull at a 45. So I wanna pull into that fish. And when I'm pulling, I'm pulling it into my chest so that I have a lot of control. Control is very, very important, especially once you tighten up on that fish, you stick that, that light wire, thin, diameter hook into that fish, just like a needle point. We're just gonna pull that needle right into the fish, then the fight is on. You're just gonna hold on and you wanna keep good pressure. But um, again, I just wanna emphasize how you don't want to throw it out there, you know, feel or see the bite, and then, you know, swing on the fish. That's not the appropriate um, hook setting technique with this application. With the Ned Rig, again, it's a pull. You wanna pull it into your chest pull that needle right into that fish and the fight is on. So uh, th those are the important segments of, of the best way to set the hook with the Ned Rig and uh, that goes for all applications. We, we're, we're fishing this little bit of wood right here but that goes in dock fishing, when you're fishing rocks, we talked earlier about grass lines, any of those types of, of techniques that we're utilizing, brush piles, you want to pull into the fish. Utilize that hook the way it's made and the best way it, it, it works for this lure and uh, you're gonna have a, a great amount of success. It also helps because it's a finesse technique, right? That six, seven, eight pound test isn't gonna take those really hard um, cranking on them hook sets. So that, again, that's why you wanna pull into those fish. Once you pull into them, they're stuck. All you gotta do is hold on, wear that fish out, keep it away from the cover, and, and that's the beauty of the Ned Rig, that finesse style application, that finesse approach, you can skip it underneath wood, as you've seen here, fishing on the outside of wood. We actually have a, a couple brush piles out here. So if I was to take, take the Ned Rig, fishing in an open water situation, I wanna make a good long cast. Um, I want it to fall on slack line. That's gonna give it that good glide or that nice glide if I'm using a little bit bigger bait. I'm using that brush easy with the 1 13 ounce right here. And I'm gonna pick up on it I'm gonna feel it, kind of see what the bait's doing, if a fish has grabbed it, 